Welcome back to The Vocalist. If you're new here, we've been going on a little journey after I heard Valley of the Queens from Arian Universe. I've heard Flor Janssen before, last video featured Marcella Bovio, so today we are listening to Annika von Giersbergen. This is the band The Gathering performing their song Travel. did not hear this side of her in Valley of the Queens. I'm very excited. She's, she still has that gorgeous forward placement, some nasal resonance. It looks effortless, but now I'm getting a slightly like richer sound. You can hear that open pharynx, a little bit more support as she's like, ex not expanding, is she spanning more of her range in this piece? I know it's a long one. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back, okay. I was only gonna go back a little bit. We're just doing it. Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> so many colors. Like, I'm gonna try and like actually point them out. And then she moves into like that slightly more speech-like sound. And then you get a little bit of that breathiness. a little bit of growling come in I'll go back to the beginning of this section it's just so powerful but also um I'm trying I never want to compare singers it's giving me like tiny little share vibes and the only reason I say that is because there's like this gorgeous unique sound and I can't I can't put my finger on it but um you know, when you, I think of Cher, I think of like, I can't even describe it. Let me just listen again. Right there, like on control. Like I love what she's doing with her vibrato. Um, it's almost as it control. It's almost like she's got, um, the root of her tongue really high in her mouth, almost like it's it's touching her soft palate. I have no idea what's actually happening, but it's just like the the sound. It's it's warm and it's full, but it's got just this. Uh, I I can't describe it. I'm not even gonna try. Hopefully, you guys 
hear what I'm hearing, even though I can't express or tell you what it is. transition in there I hearing just those tiny moments where she popped into head voice earlier was lovely but hearing her really like sing into it right here it's just it's so stunning I yeah the whole piece is stunning um but also her transition back into her mix was seamless <laughs> and gritty. I just... about the word insanity like text painting to go through all these different sounds on the word insanity I think is just so brilliant let me back it up mm, let's get into that Everything. Head, mix, and chest. So cool.
I was caught off guard by an ad. We're going to back it up just a smidge. song um i love seeing all these additional singers at the end it was just so impactful um man the music was uh, i want to go back i don't know if i'm gonna find it when she's singing in this ending section before the other singers come on stage she has so much power and just it's such a gorgeous sound I could just listen to that note forever just 
literally forever. It's so stunning. I mean, <laughs> so much of what she does is gorgeous, but you know how sometimes you get those notes that just like, I don't even know, they, uh, they, they get to you. Is the placement and she's so smart because you can see her spread at first um, not even like a big wide spread let me um, basically it's more like a V and so that means she's like widening the palette but she's not hyper extending her jaw which is flawless but then to go from that having like that wider palette and like having that placement set up so beautifully and then allowing the cheeks to come back in it just creates a slightly warmer color and i think it is so stunning <laughs> thing I wanted to mention I didn't see it as much before when a lot of you commented that um, Annika is like sort of the godmother of um, symphonic metal and how she's a huge inspiration for floor and I mean I, I definitely can I can hear it now um, it's this is really just such a powerful piece and just seeing like the passion with which she performs i love that i love what she can do with her voice i love how she's alternating you know going from that mix into head voice and that gorgeous like clean pure like shimmery sound um everything combined with the music with the text i just it's a lot i feel like i need to like I'm just gonna be quiet for the rest of this just so I can take it in. The other thing I'll mention is I really liked the harmonies in that last section. They were a bit unexpected and a little eerie, but also very soothing. I just, I wasn't anticipating those particular sounds at the end of that piece. And I really like, I really like what they did with it. So that's it for today. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching with me. Thank you for this recommendation and hopefully I will see you next time.